So I know you can speak from experience when I ask you this question, and I know you can speak from observing uh, other people. So when it's, when someone's a new real estate investor from your own experience and from other people you've observed, what would you say the biggest challenges are uh, when they're working on their first uh, rehab? And, you know, in the second part of that question is where do most people mess up? based on your experience? Sure. Well, I, I, there's a variety of things that I see new real estate investors, uh, mistakes that they make in, in their first um, purchase. And look, we're, we're, when we're buying property, we're not buying these beautiful uh, emeralds or diamonds. We're, we're buying diamonds and rough. These are ugly ducklings that we got a great deal. Hopefully we got a great deal on. And ultimately we need to uh, infuse some type of renovation, repair, rehab in it in order to raise value. Um, and an ironic, the ironic part about the whole process is when you take a property, you literally got to decrease the value of the property by ripping it apart, throwing more money into it to be able to reach the, back to the least, the very minimum that you purchased it for, but then raise the value. And so th through that whole process, there's a lot of fear and there's a lot of apprehension that real, new real estate investors have because you're, you're, you're talking about literally thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars being spent. And there's a lot of apprehension through the whole process because you're literally tearing things apart. So one of the things that I find that new real estate investors, one of the biggest mistake uh, that they make is really in, in trying to, they don't sit down and actually write down what their goals are. What is it they're looking to accomplish with this particular property? You can't go uh, willy wally all over the place on it. You actually have to sit down and write down what it is you're looking to accomplish. If it's a rental property, are you going, what's the rental rate you want to get? You want to get eight to a hundred dollars, twelve hundred dollars a month. If you're looking to flip it, how much money are you looking to make out of that, uh, out of that flip? You got to write that goal down. And because it is through that goal, the whole process of planning and managing that renovation rehab is going to flow through that goal. And the actions that we're going to take, the steps that we're going to take are going to flow through that goal. So once you've established that goal, we got to go out there in the marketplace and validate it. And often I find new these new real estate investors don't go out there to really do their due diligence to find out, you know, if they're looking to rent an apartment out or a house out for $1,200 a month, what is it that's in the marketplace that they need to create or need to do to their property in order to be able to get that $1,200? Or if they're looking to flip it, what is it that they need to do? And you got to get out there. You got to do so. You got to get out there and you got to knock on doors. You got to look at it. And there's some, some of it you can do off the internet, but you also need to go and visit properties to get a sense of what the neighbor is like and what is it the value you need to put in to your property in order to get to that goal. Um, once we've been able to do that, the final really thing that I really want to get into uh, with you, Jay, is I find that new real estate investors don't write, uh, you know, they don't get into writing a scope of work. And a scope of work in my field where I, you know, on the commercial side, there isn't a job that I've coded on that doesn't have a scope of work written where it details exactly what it is that needs to be done to that property. It specifies the appliances, the coloring, everything is associated with that renovation or rehab. In the res on the residential side, very rarely do I come across people actually going through that. So that's one another huge mistake that a lot of new real estate investors make is they don't go into the minutia and actually detailing what it is they're looking for.